A question we get pretty often here at OG is why we foam our wheel cleaner and is it the best way to do it? You know, is there any advantages to foaming a wheel cleaner as opposed to just spraying it with a traditional bottle? Instead of sitting here and explaining exactly why or how we do it, I think it's best to take it outside and show you on a car some of the pros and cons to foaming your wheel cleaner. We have our Mustang wheels right here and as you can see these are fairly complicated wheels. Now the problem that you have on doing any sort of wheel, especially if it's complex, is coverage and dwell time. So when you spray with a regular bottle, you're gonna have to spray into every single one of these little nooks and crannies and then it might just rinse off in a couple seconds. That's where the foam cannon really comes into its own. So I'm gonna take my foam cannon here. We have uh, the Gurios foam cannon with undiluted brake buster in it. There is no metering tip in this, uh, but you could use one of course if you wanted to. And we're just gonna foam down the wheel. Now hopefully you can see with just that short little burst, we have full coverage of this wheel and it's clinging onto it pretty well. So you can see that it's lingering on the paint. Uh, if I was working it in with brushes or like a lambskin mitt, it would be sudsing up and going everywhere. You might think that this is using a lot of product, but we've actually found that using a foam cannon uses exactly the same amount, if not a little bit less, since you're not spraying as much, depending on what sprayer you're using. So I'm gonna finish up cleaning this wheel and the other three, finish out this wash, and then we'll take it back inside. If you can't afford a whole nother foam cannon or maybe you can't justify that purchase, you can just pick up a replacement bottle and have two bottles for the one foam cannon head. You can get the Brake Buster foam cannon and everything else we showed in this video at ObsessedGarage.com. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments or reach out directly at support at ObsessedGarage.com.